Hello, and welcome to Pokemon TCG Daily, opening 327. Fellow trainers, I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday wherever you are. Today, we're going to be opening up and continuing opening up the Sylveon GX10. Yesterday, we opened up the Glaceon GX10, and tomorrow, we'll, we'll, we'll be opening up the Sylveon GX10. So let's go ahead and get started. But in case if you're brand new to my channel, I've been doing one Pokemon TCG opening every single day for over 300 days straight. With each and every single video I make, I like to try to hand out one to two QR codes for the online Pokemon trading card game. It's really just a way for me to say thanks for coming and check out, out, out my channel because it's just been super, super fun to be able to do these openings. It really has turned into a highlight of my day to share this experience with other people. The steps to receive a code from me personally are to simply like this video, subscribe if you're brand new, answer my unique Pokemon question day that I include at the end of every single video, and then provide some way that I can get in contact with you personally. This can be via an email account, Instagram account, or Twitter Twitter account. Those are typically the popular ways that people get in contact with me. Like I said uh, yesterday, in yesterday's video, I got uh, these three tins. I got the Glaceon tin, uh, Sylveon tin, and the Leafeon, uh, Le Leafeon tins over at Target over the Black Friday weekend for an absolutely amazing deal. So we're just doing some slightly larger openings this weekend, and we are going to be kind of killing this weekend with actually on Monday. We also have one kind of other big opening we will be doing on Monday as well. But with all that, let's go ahead and jump into the contents of this tin. So let's go ahead and see what's in this tin. Like like you said, like I said yesterday, all these tins, you are guaranteed the GX card that is displayed uh, gorgeously on the front there. I have two uh, Pokemon booster packs that's just slipped aside there. I want to bring in the focus just a little bit. The Sylveon GX is, of course, a very, very popular card still in the meta. And there is a code on the back side of it, so you can redeem the code and play it online. And our four booster packs we are, are, will be opening up uh, today will be two Celestial Storm booster packs, a Crimson Invasion, and Roaring Skies. Those seem to be the popular order that have been coming in these tins. These were the exact same uh, booster packs we opened yesterday. I have some of those booster packs uh, lying back here that I opened uh, opened up yesterday as well. And we will get started. I think we'll probably start with the Celestial Storm Pokemon booster pack first. Uh, especially with yesterday, it's been super fun just to do some slightly larger openings. I uh, So normally, in case you if you are brand, brand new to my channel, I'm, I've been opening up at least one Pokemon booster pack. That's normally what I do, just one Pokemon booster pack. I like to try to make a nice, short and sweet little video. Uh, it's just been a, fun, a super fun way to kind of reach out to other Pokemon players and things like that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I normally do. So I want to just kind of with it, kind of being the holidays and stuff this weekend and hitting my 200 subscriber marker uh, just the other day, I wanted to go ahead and try to do something just a little bit bigger. But let's go ahead and jump into the content of this first Pokemon booster pack. We kick things off with a dark type energy. After that, we follow things up with an energy switch. Next, we have the awesome looking trainer card, Rainbow Brush. We have an Apricorn Maker. Absolutely happy about that. Very practical card to have in the meta right now. We have the Seagull Pokemon. We got a couple of those yesterday. We have the uh, Gecko Pokemon, Trico. We have the Electric type Pokemon, Voltorb. We have the Grass type Pokemon, Dot. We have the Dark type Pokemon, Sneasel. We have a Reverse Hollow Lure Ball. And the last card in our Pokemon booster pack is a Swamper, which is basically a a Zorg GX, but just kind of even slightly better. The only downside, he is a stage two. And let's go ahead and jump into this Crimson Invasion booster pack. We'll mix it up just a little bit today, kind of go out of blue with the order we uh, did yesterday. Uh, like I said, I will never complain if we can manage to pull a Buzzle GX. I have the uh, Shaman, e, uh, Shaman EX that we pulled yesterday, which was absolutely a fantastic card to pull. I was super, super happy about that. Let's go ahead and take a look right, right there. Uh, green coat, so probably nothing fantastic. But there's still a lot of other great cards in Crimson Invasion that we could try to get. Maybe we'll pull our Guzma or something like that. We kick things off with an Electro type Energy. We have the Fighting Memory. We have the normal type Pokemon Diggsby. We have the Steel type Pokemon, one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 3. We have Mawile right there. We have an adorable looking Swinom hanging out in the snow. We have Jigglypuff. I absolutely loved Jigglypuff in the Let's Go Pikachu trailer. We have the Dark type Pokemon Houndour. We have an adorable, adorable looking Pikachu. They always give Pikachu some fantastic artwork. We have the Grass type Pokemon Skidoo. We have a really cool looking Reverse Hollow Magikarp. And the last card in the Pokemon Booster Pack is a Wigglytuff. Let's go ahead and see if we can make some magic happen with these last two Pokemon Booster Packs. You like to think out of four Booster Packs, you'll get at least one more GX or EX. Even a Prism Star card it would be absolutely phenomenal to get out of one of these Pokemon Booster Packs. Let's go ahead and see. Maybe we'll get that shiny uh, rainbow rare Rayquaza or something. That would be absolutely insane. Uh, another green coast, so maybe nothing exciting out of these Pokemon booster packs. It would be absolutely crazy if we pulled another uh, full art shaman or something like that. We kick things off with a fire type energy. We follow things up with the psych psychic type Pokemon so a lot. We have an underground expedition card right there. We have the fighting Pokemon Minor. I always think I pronounce that guy wrong. Uh, we have the awesome looking Fanfy right there. We have the water type Pokemon Clam Pearl. We have the normal type Pokemon Skitty. We have the water type Pokemon Lotat. 
We have the grass type Pokemon against Seedon. We have a cool looking reverse hollow acrobat. And the last card in our Pokemon booster pack is a Delmise. Nothing wrong there. Some really cool cards. But let's go ahead and see if Roaring Skies will be in our favor again today. If Roaring Skies, I actually have it right up here. Right now on top of my Switch case, we have, we, we yesterday we pulled the Shaman EX, Glacian Tin yesterday, and a pretty cool looking Solgaleo. So maybe Roaring Skies will be uh, will be in our favor again today. And I think it was the trick with the, the card trick from these is three in the back because that was before they started including energy uh like i said i don't think in this one the white code really matters too much um back then they they didn't really uh didn't really do that trick then it didn't really matter if you got a white coat or a green coat i think back then uh ultra ball always will take more ultra balls next we follow things up with the fairy type pokemon tokatik after that we have the banned card wally uh fortunately uh fantastic card but she can't use them anymore uh we follow things up with the fi uh the the flying type pokemon fletching we have the grass type pokemon Executive. We have the Dragon type Pokemon Bagon. We have a really cool looking Swap Blue. We have the Electric to type Pokemon Electric. We have a Reverse Hall of Fletching. And the last card in our Pokemon Booster Pack is a Shed Ninja. So, not the best tin in the world, but we got some really cool cards there. Um, and like I said, Wally would have been great to pull a couple months ago before it got banned in the format, but I will not complain about getting that Ultra Ball, that Acrobike that apricorn maker some fantastic cards right there so for today's question of the day as we are opening up some eevee tins uh, evolutions of easy e e rather said and eevee's actually right there representing things for us right now let me just know this down in the comments below what is your favorite eevee evolution i will try to put my answer there as well that is today's question of the day. Just uh, if you want to answer today's question of the day, I then try to send out codes to everyone who uh, provides me an email address, like I said, answers the question of the day. I try to get those out during the weekend. If you're new to my channel during the weekdays, it does take me about three to seven days to typically send out codes, and I'm still kind of catching them from the past week or so. But if you ask other people, I really do send out the codes personally because it's just a way for me to say thank you so much for coming to check out my channels. But fellow trainers, like I said, we got two big openings uh, still coming. We're doing another 10 tomorrow. And I'll just say right now, the uh, Monday's opening, we are doing one of the Tapu Lele uh, uh, GX uh, box openings. I'm really, really happy. I also got that for a really great deal from another trading card store in the area. Fellow trainers, I hope you're in a fantastic day wherever you are. You have uh, had a great Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, and fellow trainers, I hope you do live stream or something soon uh, like that. I'd absolutely love to do uh, more stuff like that in 2019. Um, and have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow as always.